Hey guys, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom inspector. Um, like I did, I added this button right here, and I can simply choose my prefabs and hit the create character button that I created, and the create character is right within my scene. Of course, you can do many other things with your custom inspector, but stay tuned. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, the intro is complete and let's get right down to coding this thing. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new game object. And in my case, I'm just gonna name my game object uh, example. Next in my script folder, I'll go ahead and I'll create a new script and I call this one uh, example a <clears throat> let's go ahead and just double click on this folder and the script sorry double click on the script we'll open it up and we'll just do some quick housekeeping first um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a public game object and I'm just gonna call it uh, let's see object game object G why not and then I'll need a public uh, I'm gonna do a public vector 3 to hold a position of where we're going to spawn the object so I just say spawn uh, spawn here yeah spawn here um, and then a public function um, this is a function we're gonna call when we click the button so um, it will just uh, let's see just just do this or just do it yeah just do it and the only thing we're gonna do with this function is simply instantiate the game object um, at the spawn position so spawn here so uh, you just gotta pass in the game object first comma and then the position which is the spawn here which is the vector 3 and then we're not too worried about the rotation so quaternium dot identity should do it for us and that's it save and return to unity now that we're back in unity um, once unity is done compiling here we'll see this is what the normal inspector will look like um, with the coordinates and the uh, the prefab location there for us to drag and drop now we haven't we don't have a button to actually trigger off that function we made um, so next uh, let's actually go ahead and create the main pre uh, the main script here that's gonna work with the editor so I'll go ahead and I'll create a new script and I'll just call this one um, custom inspector double click to open it so with our custom inspector script open um, right here uh, we're gonna need to just uh, clean it up a little bit because there's certain things we don't need uh, so we don't need these and also we don't need to inherit from the mono develop we actually need to be inheriting from the editor and we also need to be using unity editor so with the script all cleaned up, removing the start and update functions as well, we need to give it the custom editor type of. So if we tell it here, this is how we link this script with our example A script. We tell it that this script is a type of um, the example A script, and then we just finish this off with a square, closing square bracks. Okay. Um, so the next thing is as soon as the inspector GUI loads up um, we need to overwrite that as soon as you click on something the inspector GUI would normally pop up when you click on a game object the inspector shows up and you can see the values so by overwriting that we can give it our own values so for simplicity let's start off by just printing some text and to do that you just call the editor GUI layout and you see here there's so many things you can pass in so many so definitely play around with these and get familiar with it in my case I'll just go ahead and put the labeled uh, feel and then in parentheses here we can just put a simple uh, text right here we'll save and head back to unity and once back in unity once unity is done compiling you see here that all the information that used to be there is gone 
and we only have the label that we created so that's pretty amazing so we can put whatever we want in this field so let me show you how you can add a button and uh, string it up with your function first thing we gotta do is create a new um, well actually we don't have to create anything we'll just go back to our script and remove our um, string our text label and instead we can just put the default layout so that's draw default inspector yeah draw default inspector which will give us back the default values that were printed before let's go ahead and save and head back to unity to show you what I mean and you can see that the default values have returned let's go back to our script and once we're showing the default values now below the default value we can then create a button so first thing we're gonna do is create reference to our example a script so we'll call it example a and I'll just reference this so let's see the name example and then equal and in parentheses you want to type example parentheses and then target because this script does not go this script does not go on a game object we have to say the keyword target here to kind of target it that's the only way to kind of like reference it if that makes sense um, next you just got to do an on GUI it's the same as as a regular script in so if uh, GUI layout GUI layout um, dot button layout dot button uh, we can just pass in a, a button name in uh, parentheses so I'll just put uh, create character right create character and then once um, that button is clicked the reference we made to the example script we call it exam we should be able to hit exam dot if you go back to this script here you see where we name it just do it so we should be able to say exam dot just do it open and close parentheses semicolon to finish it off and save all now if we go back to unity uh, everything should update and as you can see uh, my button works I'm able to create characters but this is just what I chose to do with it there's so much you can do with this guy is really the layout is completely up to you you can add buttons images whatever all right check the description below I'm gonna, I'm gonna be linking another tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can create a custom window you can go up to windows and find the name of your window here and just click it and open it just like that so check that out in the description below